Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today on our Town Hall 8. That's right, this is another episode of Let's Clash. And as y'all can see, we have a whole lot of gold. So we're going to go to Town Hall 9. I'm kidding. <laughs> we're not even going to think about going to Town Hall 9. So we've got a lot of stuff that we can upgrade. Um, all of our cannons are maxed out now. Yep, so all of our cannons are maxed out. Um, we're upgrading one of our Teslas right now. All of our mortars are maxed. All of our wizards are maxed. We might even have enough elixir to do a little bit of research. Uh, we could research heal spells, or we can see if we can get enough um, enough elixir to upgrade the dragon as well. So why don't we do this? That's gonna be. That means we're gonna need to get like two raids with about. 150,000 each maybe a little bit more Ooh, so that might be a little bit hard but we can see um, anyways why don't we go ahead and see what we can upgrade when it comes to gold um, so we can upgrade our uh, archer towers so we can upgrade all of them to level 10 I think that we are we do already have one level 10 archer tower and it is no so we have two of them these two right here are level 10 and then these three are level 9 so um, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this one right here and boom. So there we go. One upgrade. Um, definitely excited to get all of these archer towers up. Um, let's go ahead and remove this tree. I'm leaving the ones on the, on the side, but I'm getting rid of uh, everything else. So, <clears throat> so we're going to upgrade that one. And then what else do we have left to upgrade? We have our Teslas that we can upgrade and we also have our air defenses. So that's going to be a little bit annoying upgrading those so we got a level three level four and this one is on its way to level three as well so let's go ahead and um we're going to try and squeeze in two attacks into this video um, and i'm going to show you all a defense replay as well of somebody trying to attack the new base design and it not working for them so uh, if you guys haven't watched the previous video on the channel eight base design and you want to see me kind of go through the steps of the design that I'm using now, then you can go ahead and watch that. Um, look at this loot. Look at this loot. Let's go ahead and drop off our barbarians all the way around and then throw in some archers. Come on, archers. Throw in some archers and let's top it off with a couple of goblins to finish off the job. <laughs> and we just got a whole lot of loot for practically nothing. Um, why don't we go ahead though and see what else we can do let's see if we can take out this uh, wizard tower right here with those archers and we can try and get our goblins to head into the center of the base right there um, <clears throat> and see if we can get any more of that gold I definitely want to try and take out this mortar and let's go ahead and drop off some more of these goblins take out the mortar alright there we go so we're taking out that mortar and that mortar is now taking us out <laughs> As long as we can get in through those walls, we'll be doing just fine. Um, looks like we are getting the majority of that gold right there from that gold storage. And then, um, where did my drink go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> and then we have all those archers still working on those walls up there. So hopefully once they finish those walls, uh, they can move on in. I have one more archer left. We'll just go ahead and use it. <laughs> and it'll die. So there we go, guys. We can go ahead and end that battle. Um, at the ooh, at the cost of 218,000 gold and 215,000 elixir. That is a great raid. That is the kind of raid that I love to freaking find. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and train up that same sort of army comp. We're going to throw in barbarians and come on, do one full of goblins. <clears throat> we always overtrain on this. And then we're going to do archers in the other two uh why don't we throw in a couple of wall breakers as well we'll go ahead and throw some of those in let's get rid of all these throw in a couple of wall breakers here as well just to 
to help our uh, our troops out when it comes to getting into the walls, even though the majority of the time we are looking for bases where everything is on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and let all these troops cook up. Um, it should be done in a little bit, and I'll be back with you guys in just a few, but why don't we go ahead and watch this defense replay of this guy attacking. Uh, you could see his army comp there, you'll see it again at the end. So this is the new base design, uh, new farming base. Uh, it's the transformer base because you can very easily turn it into a trophy base as well. So uh, as you can see right up here, he is taking out the town hall. So we'll go ahead and just fast forward a little bit right there. And uh, once his troops finish up with that, they will move on in. Come on. Go ahead and go four times. And man, what is, what is taking him so long? <laughs> he took that long to attack the base? Goodness. All right, so here he goes with the giants. Uh, down at the bottom and the hog riders and the hog riders are not doing too hot. <laughs> he completely wasted that, uh, that heal spell right there. Um, but you can see his troops, here they go, they're going to walk right in there and boom, see you later. Some of them blew up, uh, got some pretty good damage there so we made him prematurely use his, uh, his heal spell on the outside. Uh, generally you would want to wait until you get inside the walls really to use the heal spell. So he sees all that loot. He sees 605,000 loot available, and he's bringing all these goblins trying to get to work. But the goblins are sadly just going to work their way around because that wizard tower is going to completely destroy them. Um, so he's working his way around right now with his wizards. No, with his wizards, with his goblins. Um, actually, there are wizards working their way around as well. Um, and you can see he's not even getting close to any of the loot. Not at all. So he only got 5,000 gold and 4,000 elixir. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if he had had a more organized army comp, it might have gone a little bit differently. Some of you guys in the comments were saying that Giant Healer would wreck this base, so on and so forth. Um, I would love to see that because if he decides to take out these air defenses and drop down his healers, he's going to lose uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 of his giants. And then his healers are going to have nothing to heal anymore. <laughs> so uh, I don't think giant healer will work too well on this base, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to let these troops train up, though, and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, so hold tight. See you guys in view. All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, all of our troops are trained up, and I need to get my iPad in front of me. <laughs> so what we are trying to do right now is I would like to upgrade my dragons, obviously. We were talking about that earlier. Um, so I need to get, uh, looks like 240,000. Oh, that's still a lot. That's still a lot of elixir. <laughs> so we're going to have to try and either find two uh, pretty good small raids that we can attack or, um, I don't know, just one really, really big one. So hopefully we can find something. We'll go ahead and start looking uh, right here. Um, but anyways, guys, I just want to thank you all, as always, um, for all the support that you all give me. It really means a lot. Uh, seeing you guys support me um, and I don't know just complimenting me and and being supportive <laughs> there's so there's so much hate out there like all the time and it can be extremely frustrating um, obviously and for all my true fans who truly support me uh, I just want to thank you guys for helping me find bases like this <laughs> I'm just kidding but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everything that you guys uh, do for me it, it really does mean a lot because you guys support me and um, like I was saying it you know it's just I don't know it's awesome it, it really really is awesome getting this the kind of support that I get um, from you also uh, but I just wanted to say that as we were searching real quick so let's see if we can get in here I'm not I'm gonna try not to use all my troops and let's see how much of this elixir we can get from these mines and uh, or from these pumps uh, looks like a good amount of it is in the center of the base as well. So um, we're only going to get... Ooh, so that's all that we're going to get. Um, we might go ahead and... I want to see if we can get in there into the center because we do still have a pretty good amount of uh, troops left and we're going to need 140,000 more gold. So actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to surrender. Um, and I am going to, uh, we should actually have gotten a good amount of troops back from that right there. Let's go ahead, go back on the attack and see if we can find 140,000 um, elixir outside. Kind of just like that last raid. Uh, you can find those pretty easily down here. So this one looks pretty good and it is all in those, uh, in those storages. So why don't we go ahead and... 
let's take out let's take out this one so we're gonna take out that bottom one and then we're gonna spread out our barbarians down here and we're only gonna have one wall breaker that we have to get in there so uh, I'm gonna make sure to drop that and hopefully he gets in there and does work please wall breaker okay so the wall breaker did do um, an okay amount of damage <clears throat> now we definitely want to get in here and if we can get inside the walls right there then we will be able to um, get the majority of that elixir from that uh, from that storage I'm kind of off right now I don't know why <laughs> come on guys nope go in nope you're going the literally you're going the completely wrong direction there we go so there now we have all of our barbarians going in right there and um, once they get in there then some of the archers should follow and we should be able to take out wow a lot of barbarians just got uh, flown off of that trap a lot of these uh, archers should be able to take out the majority of that elixir for us come on come on we only need we need a hundred thousand more oh gosh all right so we didn't get it <laughs> how much did we even get did we get like a hundred thousand total from that um, all right, so let's go ahead and end the battle. What did we get now? Oh, we only got 50,000 because those, uh, those clan castle troops kind of distracted the rest of our troops. Uh, what are we looking at right here? <laughs> we are looking at practically nothing. Um, can we upgrade anything else with our, uh, with our goal that we have? No, we cannot. Soon we're gonna have to start upgrading walls again and it's gonna be miserable. Uh, but I'm gonna be trying to post more videos on here because this is a higher level higher level ish account um, being at Town Hall 8 and upgraded as it is so we're gonna see if we can do a little bit more um, on this and rate a little bit uh, longer so uh, you guys can if you watch streams you can go watch uh, Cooper Troop if you want to <laughs> um, but let's see here so we need 90,000 more and we have how many troops do we have <laughs> I love doing this kind of stuff. So we have a few archers, a few goblins. Um, why don't we, we're going to pause real quick and I'm going to be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once we have about 20 or 30 more troops and then we're going to see if we can find a base that we can uh, easily just pick off the buildings with. So just hold tight and we'll, uh, we'll get there in a second, okay? All right, guys, we're just going to go ahead and attack... <laughs> because it's late and I don't want to gym these up or wait another 30 minutes or anything like that so why don't we try and see if we can get a little bit lucky and find a base that has a lot of elixir on the outside of it kind of like this one um, so we only need oh, we need 80 there's no there's no way that there's 80 on the outside of that base that we can pick off um, same with this one so I do this a lot and it's kind of funny when I get impatient and I'm trying to upgrade something. I train uh, as little troops and I just anxiously go out and look and if I can't find anything then I <clears throat> end the battle and then search again and get the troops that were training up while I was away. Uh, look at this. Thank you. Yes, I would love to get that free elixir. <laughs> nice. Oh, and he's out of range too. Oh, that's perfect. How much are we going to get from this? I wonder. We probably won't get that much. Um, but hey, I mean, anything's free. So we only need 50,000 more. Um, I wonder what we can get from this. Let's see how much we can get from this. So there's not that much on there. Um, we are going to totally just crush these army camps right here. And let's see if we can get our goblins to run right up. That cannon's going to shoot at them. And can we? No, archer towers. We need our archers to... There we go. Yep, focus on that. Nope, not on the gold mine. And go for it. 30,000. Get us 30,000. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. What are we at? 20,000 more. 14,000 more. 12,000 more. 10,000 more. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we only need 7,000 more. All right, so watch. Now we're going to surrender because I don't really care about trophies right now. That's why I have a farming base. So we just got 76,000 easy from that. Now we're going to go attack again, and all we need is 7,000 more. So watch. We're going to go like this and this and like this. And that in itself is most likely going to 
give us exactly what we need when it comes to our elixir because it doesn't look like there's any inside of the base. Um, <laughs> see how much we can get from these. Come on, yes. <laughs> so there it is. So what that means is that all the troops that are chained up right now in my army camps is all that I'm going to get. Um, but I'm about to go to sleep after this anyway. So <laughs> there was like seven attacks in this. That's so hilarious. Um, I know that you guys do it too. Admit it. Sometimes when you're raiding and you're like, gosh, I only need like 10,000 more. You do this. You wait until you just get a couple of troops trained up. Unless you're obviously trophy pushing, then you would never do such a foolish thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead, go in here, and we are going to research our dragons. Nice. And uh, hopefully now that those are going to be researched, we can start doing some stuff with them. Um, let's see about, what are our mines at? So there's a level two, that one's level one. Why don't we upgrade this as well? Because that'll just be four hours. And then where's our other one? So this one's level two. Is this level one? No, nope, that one's level two. Um, that's level two. What are these? Level two, level two. Why don't we upgrade one more? <coughs> uh, no, we'll we'll save it. So we're gonna save the rest of the gold. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. I know there it was kind of random at the end and whatnot, but hey, I'm just showing you guys how I raid and how I get stuff done uh, when I am very impatient. <laughs> so that's what's going on here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys play Minecraft, make sure that you check out my Minecraft videos. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's just me chilling. Even if you don't play, you might enjoy it. Um, it's not affecting my upload uh, rate or whatever of Clash videos. So it's just extra videos for you guys. So if y'all like it, even if you've never played it or anything, check them out. See if you like it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? See you guys later.